But you were a six-year-old little nipper when God smiled on Mum and made her die. <laughs> Two months after that, Dad packed his bags and left us to fend for ourselves. It was me that kept us together. Nothing to do with Grandad. It was an out-of-work lamplighter waiting for gas to make a comeback. <laughs> I grafted 19, 20 hours a day to put groceries on that table. All right, it wasn't always double legal, but you ate the finest food that was going. All you ever give me was TV dinners and convenience foods. If it wasn't frozen or dehydrated, we didn't eat it. If you'd have been in charge of a last supper, it would have been a takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything was better than the salmonella and chips that Grandad used to knock up. <laughs> Look, don't get me wrong. I'm... I'm grateful. I don't want your gratitude, ungrateful little git. <laughs> I don't know what is the matter with you, Rodney. Sometimes I hesitate to tell people that you're my brother. Well, I always say I'm your social worker. <laughs> Would you mind telling me exactly what it is that's made your life a misery? Well, you've always treated me like a child, haven't you? I was the only sixth former in my grammar school who wore short trousers. <laughs> yeah, well, I got them cheap, didn't I? But I was 15, Del. I was growing hairs and things. My legs were like Italian footballers. And you never let me do anything on my own, do you? You even had to help me with my GCE studies. You passed in two subjects. I failed in the other eight, Del. <laughs> I mean, you embarrass me. That's why I never bring women home. Oh, you know some women, do you? Cool, that's a turn-up for the book. The only bird I've ever heard you mention was old Shanghai Lil from the art college in Basingstoke. <laughs> Even then you had to drug her before you get your leg over. <laughs> no, I didn't. What, you didn't drug her or didn't get your leg over? <laughs> You're suffocating me, Del. I'm getting out of this house. I'm going to prove to you I can survive on my own. I'm going to the pub. What, to prove you can survive on your own? No, to get legless. I don't need you no more, Del. I don't need you for nothing. Del, um, I was just, I was just, um, wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's very much like you, Grandad. What? Dignified in defeat? No, a ponce. <laughs>